Get ready to explore new worlds, outsmart an AI, and battle against alien threats in the most epic sci-fi games of 2023, from Star Wars to Starfield. I'm your host, Kenator, and I invite you to join me for a journey through the galaxy with the hottest sci-fi games of 2023 that you won't want to miss. Diving straight in with Scars Above from developer Madhead Games and releasing February 28th, this third-person adventure will have you assume the role of astronaut and scientist Kate Ward as part of a team sent to investigate the alien megastructure dubbed the Metahedron that has appeared in orbit of Earth. But things don't quite go to plan and you awake alone on a strange and hostile new planet and survival becomes your number one priority. Using a more scientific approach, you will scan artifacts, materials and creatures to learn how best to use them to defeat or solve puzzles. All while searching for clues and answers on why you are here, where did your teammates go and is there a way back home? System Shock. Remember that classic game from 1994 and its sequel five years later? Its influence on games cannot be understated. Well, it's finally back, and this time in full graphical glory, rebuilt from the ground up in Unreal Engine, and developed by Night Dive Studio. You play as a hacker who has made a deal to receive a neural implant for releasing the ethical constraints on the Citadel Space Station's AI named Shodan. However, after waking up from the operation, all is not well on the station. You find your quick operation turned into a six month coma. And not only has the AI taken over everything, but it has also appointed itself as God and started experimenting on as well as killing the station inhabitants. You will have to shoot and hack your way through the station to deal with the Shodan AI as it tries to stop you with its newly made experimental cyborgs, mutants and robots. Not just to save your own life, but to prevent the AI from doing the same to Earth. You can return to System Shock when it releases in March this year. Titus is back! Having dealt with the Orc Horde in the original game, this time in Space Marine 2, the Emperor has tasked him with slaughtering a Tyranid Horde instead. You are one of the Emperor's finest warriors and shall know no fear. Which is good because the monsters you'll be facing are nothing short of horrifying, highly evolved, hive mind controlled biological killing machines that want nothing more than to consume every trace of organic matter on the planet. You can expect to use a complete arsenal of ranged and melee weapons along with various equipment upgrades in your defense of the planet. And while mowing aliens down with ranged weapons can be fun, the real core of the game will be its absolutely gory hand-to-hand -hand combat. Warhammer 40k has such a rich lore and style that will very much stand out in the environments of this game, which more recent tech developments and hardware mean games like this can really do it justice. And it shows in the trailer. And while we don't have an exact launch date for this one yet, it is coming this year. Up next we have The Invincible from developers Starwood Industries. The game is based on the book of the same name by science fiction writer Stanislaw Lem, who is also known for writing Solaris, which Spielberg adapted into a movie. But back to the game. The Invincible is a narrative-driven single-player adventure set in the future with a retro-futuristic style to it. The planet is Regis 3 and you play astrobiologist Yasna. Your memory is gone, your crew is gone, and you will have to unravel what has happened on this planet and find your crew. But you are not alone, and you will have the assistance of Astrogator Novik over the radio. If you're a fan of philosophical stories, hard sci-fi, or mysteries, then this one should be top of your wish lists, and is due for a release at some point this year. The Dune universe has seen a massive resurgence with the 2021 movie as well as an RTS Dune Spice Wars in 2022. Well 2023 might bring us another new game but this time an open world MMO called Dune Awakening. Details so far are pretty light but we do have a CGI teaser and a trailer showing some pre-alpha gameplay. But the chance to get to play in the massive Dune world should excite most people with its various factions, technology and deep lore. Dune Awakening could be a very big game if done right, but I think it's safe to say we can expect to delve into the mysteries of Arrakis and its history. Teaming up with not only other players, but the main houses vying for control over Dune 2. Player structures as well as land and air vehicles have been confirmed, and I can't wait to take flight in an ornithopter. 
The Steam page and main website for the game show a beta will be coming soon, which given how much marketing has come out for the game recently, might indicate that this may well be soon. Despite the hugely successful arc Survival Evolved not being that old of a game, Studio Wildcard are keen to move the game and the experience forward with Arc 2. While I won't claim to know much about the original game as it's not quite my cup of tea, I do know it has a huge community around it. The devs are bringing out the big guns for the sequel with Vin Diesel as the central character of its epic new story. The game will be running on the latest and greatest Unreal Engine 5 and most importantly for a lot of players, making it not only easy to mod, but mod across all platforms. We will also see improved character movement, improved creature AI and pathfinding, dynamic world events, improvements to building with templates and a massive new environment to name but a few. Arc 2 should be entering early access during the first half of this year after being delayed from 2022, but my bet for this one is this summer. Bethesda's first new IP in 25 years, Starfield is a brand new universe set for release this year. It looks like Starfield is set to have it all except for multiplayer. A huge RPG experience, crafting, base building, spaceship design and combat, and over a thousand planets to explore. But how much is there to find or do on these planets is still hotly debated. While many enjoy the games Bethesda have made, many also see problems in them, and the history of buggy games is not going anywhere, which might lead many to skip this one until it's at least seen a few post-release patches. But with its recent acquisition by Microsoft, we could see a higher than normal quality release from Bethesda. I for one am willing to give it a day one shot. I love sci-fi RPGs and spaceship building, so I'm already sold. But you can let me know your opinion for this one in the comments. But if you're still unsure, Bethesda has announced a Starfield presentation for March, which will deliver yet more info on the game. Armored Core 6, developed by From Software, brings a return to the series after 10 years of nothing, much to the delight of many a Mecha fan. Armored Core 1, 2 and 3 were certainly games I enjoyed back in the day, but while I fell out of contact with the game, I always adored the Mecha designs that came from the series. So whether you're an old fan or brand new to the series, Armored Core 6 will be enjoyable for anyone who loves big honking robots with even bigger guns. For those new to Armored Core, expect fast-paced third-person mecha combat, fighting in a war-torn landscape, doing missions to earn money and parts to upgrade your mech through the course of a single-player story campaign. Customization is a huge part of the series and you can build your mech to play to your strengths and weaknesses. And you can expect to see much more on this one during a one-hour special presentation at the Taipei Game Show in just over a week. The next game is for the free-to-play crowd. The first descendant from Nexon Games is a gorgeous looking third person looter shooter that allows for co-op play with up to four players and is focused on PvE gameplay. Being a Korean game, you can expect this to be grindy, very grindy. Responses from its recent beta seem to be mixed, but I see this as a good thing. There was enough to keep people around and generated lots of valuable feedback for the devs on what the players really cared about. In your loot you'll be getting hundreds of guns which you can break down to upgrade your best ones and you'll also be getting runes to further enhance your character. Character progression will be based off a prestige mechanic which allows you to reset to level 1 for that character in return for crystals used to socket said runes. As for the characters themselves, there will be quite a number to unlock as well, and all with different abilities. One of the highlights of the game are Void Intercept Battles, in which players and their team face off against massive boss enemies with weak points and raid style abilities to be aware of and avoid. And this one is slated to release this year, but I would keep an eye on their Discord for possible further beta tests before release. Fans of horror and sci-fi will want to keep an eye out for Fort Solace from Fallen Leaf Studio. Set on Mars, players take the role of Jack Leary, an engineer who responds to an alarm call out from the Fort Solace outpost, only to find it empty and abandoned. As a dust storm rolls in, Jack must explore the outpost and uncover the mystery of what happened to the crew. 
With stunning graphics and veteran voice actors bringing the story to life, Fort Solace promises to be an immersive and thrilling experience. The game will feature key story choices that can drastically change the outcome of the story, giving players the opportunity to explore multiple endings and adding replay value. Fort Solace is planned to be released in Q2 of this year. Kyoken Interactive is back with a direct sequel to Deliver Us The Moon. Deliver Us Mars is set 10 years after the events of the first game, which for story reasons I highly recommend playing first. If you haven't yet, I'll give you a sec just to skip this section. Ok, we good? At least one of the arcs launched at the end of the first game made it to Mars, and the technology and possibly the people on these ships must be recovered. Similar to the original game, things don't quite go to plan, and our protagonist, Kathy Johnson, a young astronaut, crash lands on the Martian surface via an escape pod. Kathy, however, is determined to find the Ark, and not just because humanity wants them, but because her father Isaac departed on one and will stop at nothing for the chance to find him alive. The game is a highly narrative driven experience with intense gameplay and story moments, puzzle solving and exploration of a much larger game world than the original. With the release date of February 2nd just days away, players won't have to wait long to experience the thrilling continuation of the story. And what sci-fi list would be complete without a bit of Star Wars eh? Another sequel here, Star Wars Jedi Survivor, developed by Respawn Entertainment, continues Cal's journey. Set five years after the events of the first game, Cal is no longer the apprentice he once was, and as one of the few remaining Jedi after Order 66, he must do what he must to stay alive. Players must master a variety of different combat stances, which pair with their own different lightsaber, including notably a heavier Kylo Ren style crossguard lightsaber, which will require a bit of skill to use effectively due to its slower attack timings. And it'll be up to you as the player to use which one is best for the situation or type of enemy. Expect to see the usual fan pleasing elements such as deflecting blaster shots, utilising a variety of force powers, encountering droids and strange creatures, and of course some ever unique Star Wars spaceships thrown in for good measure, as well as a much wanted continuing for the story for fans of the previous game. Now tell me in the comments which one of these are you most looking forward to, but if you wanted more space focused games for 2023 then make sure you subscribe for that upcoming video, or it will be on the end screen if it's out already. Don't forget to tap the like button if you enjoyed this one, and I'll see you in the next one. Kenator, out.